So it's time. I've chosen, with your help, the top 10 most important things that every young man should know. This was a difficult, difficult thing to do, and I have to put this into context and kind of where I was coming from. And once I, when I chose these 10 things, uh, uh, this is where we're coming from. You had an 18 year old boy, and, and he was going to leave the house, and, and you just didn't know where he was going to end up. Maybe he uh, jumps on a ship and hitchhikes, hitchhikes across Europe. Maybe he takes a job as a, on a cattle farmer. Uh, maybe he uh, goes into the city. Who knows? It, it's not, there are things that, that are really important, that are almost life or death uh, type of things. So, I mean, it's, how, do you, how do you make a list like this? So that's kind of where we're, where we're coming from, where you, he would have his bases covered. There's a lot of individual skills that, that he would need to be, pick up along the way, uh, but they are not life or death. There, there, are, there are things that might make him more comfortable, might make him more money, uh, might make him more friends. Uh, so this isn't about um, attitudes or how to treat people, how to conduct yourself. It's about real practical skills. Those other things are equally important, but I think that that's another list. So I'm going to read them and kind of go into a little bit of the philosophy behind it. Now I started this whole thing out with handshaking, and that may you may see may say that may not be life or death, but I think it is. I think handshaking, um, showing up on time. Having common courtesy and your word is your bond, you know, the handshake deal is very important because it's a first impression. And it may open up an opportunity um, or make an impression on the right type of person that could further the boy's um, uh, possibilities. It could further, it, it could get him a job or an opportunity that otherwise he would not get. So I think that it is life or death. I think that it is that important. Um, and then we're, I'll go off in the end, we'll talk about how we're going to demonstrate these things. Number two, how to start a fire in any conditions. Now, I'm not talking about uh, perfect conditions, lighting a fire with uh, your Bic lighter and lighting a piece of paper or having matches at hand. I mean, really austere conditions um, to be able to light a fire uh, in, in the wintertime uh, if, you're, if you're out lost. So uh, that was very important to me. How to sharpen a knife, hatchet, or axe. I'm going to expand on that, how to use basic hand tools. I know it's a broad category, but the sharpening is fine, but to have an understanding of how to swing a hammer, to know the difference between metric and standard sockets, to know the difference between a box end wrench and an open end wrench, or a socket and a ratchet, or how to use a shovel properly, you know, those type of things, I think when they all, it's all kind of encompassing, but you should know how to use a pocket knife, a basic knife, how to sharpen basic tools, to use a file, a stone, those things, those things are important. They are to me. How to change basic auto maintenance. And, and that's going to break down to three things. You don't need to be an ASE certified mechanic, but you do need know, to know how to change a flat tire. You need to know how to, to jumpstart a battery. And, and I think you need to know how to change your, your oil, basic service, oil, air filter, windshield wipers, that type of thing. I, I think that that's important as well. How to drive, Mrs. Wrangler Star and I went back and forth on this one. How to drive a manual transmission. Uh, we have uh, the engine that I drive. Uh, there's very few people in our department that can drive it because the younger guys, they, don't, they can't drive manual transmissions. It's, it's, it's hard to believe, but uh, it, there's a, I know a lot of them. I would mix in with that. That's important, but uh, to, to drive equipment, to be able to move equipment around, to have, know how it works in small engines. To know the difference between a two-stroke and a four-stroke engine. To know how things, how, how to get things to start. Don't want to choke is. To know what a fuel shutoff is. Once you have that basic understanding, I think that falls under the category of, of just basically understanding equipment and, and, and how it works. And driving a manual transmission, I don't, uh, I, I think that's right up in there. Life, is that life or death? Yeah, it could be. If you needed to get out of a situation and that was the only vehicle at hand or um, you needed to have a job, you know, that would separate you if you went to get a job on a cattle ranch and you were the only guy that could drive the hay truck because none of the other guys could drive manual transmissions, that's a big advantage. Let's say you're working on a diet boat and you've got a, a compressor that's gas powered that goes down and you've got a guy down at the other end. To be able to know, basic understanding of this thing's flooded, this is what I do to get it going again. There's so, there's so many variants of that. How to tie knots properly. And I have five knots that I think are the most important. You may argue this, but I, you'd be well served if you could tie um, a reef, 
a bowline, a sheets band, a clove hitch, and a figure eight. And we'll demonstrate those as well. That covers pretty much everything. Uh, you, you'd be in good shape if you knew those five knots. How to safely handle firearms and to shoot with good mark, marksmanship. You don't need to be perfect, but you have to understand how to load and unload weapons safely. Uh, understand how they work, the difference between a, um, a magazine and a clip, um, how, how uh, safeties on, on pistols, or difference between a revolver and an auto loader, all those type of things, uh, and to be able to oh, shoot. And I also know what a cartridge is. You know what a cartridge is. The difference between a cartridge and a bullet is what? The cartridge is pretty much the bullet. And. Okay, good, look at the camera. The cartridge is what? The cartridge is the bullet. The whole thing. Mm -hmm. And the bullet is what? The bullet is just the thing. What's a primer? We still got some work to do on that one. But, uh, so far, so good, though. I'm only nine. <laughs> it's only nine. Nine more years to go. Nine more years to go. Um, okay, so we got the firearms, basic firearms safety. How to swim. How to swim. I know two people who don't know how to swim. Um, I know it sounds like a given, but it is not always a given. And that, again, uh, let's say that your boy gets a job on a, on a commercial fishing boat. Or, or he's on a ferry someplace and the boat capsizes. It, it happens. To not know how to swim, um, that's important. Okay, that goes without saying. How to perform basic first aid, CPR, treat a wound, basic um, first aid. Uh, that's really important. Um, um, I think it goes without saying. And the last, the tenth one, again, Mrs. Ranker started, she differed with me on this a little bit. How to use a map and compass. Well, people say, well, I'll just use my GPS. You know, it's, it's the thing, that's the thing, is they don't always work, and they are reliant upon batteries, and, and that whole system can be turned off. So, to Especially be able to... when they're coming to our house. Yeah, like, like GPS, if you try to follow GPS to come here, you will, you will be lost. Uh, but to, to, it lets you, to understand uh, how to determine which way is north, and, and uh, have an understanding of how to read a compass and use a compass and the lay of the land and use maps, I think is, is really, really important. So those were the list, that's the list that we came up with. And what I'm going to do uh, on all of them, I'm going to have Jack demonstrate that. Um, he's gonna tie the knots, he'll do the car changing, I'll help him as much as possible. The only one I don't know if we can do is the driving manual transmission because we don't have one here and I don't think they would be too keen on you driving the fire engine. Uh, but we'll we'll see. If not, I might do that. So uh, tell me what you think. Uh, the list isn't completely solidified. That that is pretty much I think runs the gambit. I think it covers a lot of things. Remember, we're coming from a perspective of kind of uh, of of survival, but turning them loose into a world and covering all your bases where you just don't know where they're going to land, which way which way is going to be up. And would this list be the same if I had a girl instead of a, a, a boy for? For a child? Mm -hmm. it, it would be. Yeah, it would be the same. So in leaving, I want to uh, uh, share one thing with you guys. Uh, if you are looking for a gift, a special gift uh, for uh, your kids or grandkids or whatever, I want to recommend uh, this book right here. It's titled uh, The Dangerous Book for Boys. And I'll put an Amazon affiliate link for this here in the subject heading if you want to go take a look at it. But I want to read to you, this is written, uh, this, these are basic skills that every uh, kid uh, should know. I'm just going to read a few examples from you. Um, U.S. Naval flag codes, how to make crystals, how to make a go-kart, how to juggle, um, Pledge of Allegiance, basic astronomy, the Navajo Code Talker Dictionary, um, cloud formations, first aid, the 50 states, uh, courageous stories, great battles. Um, the rules of soccer. Rules of soccer. Navigation. Uh, the moon. How to skip a stone. Uh, it just goes on and on. Coin tricks. Uh, how to start a fire. Um, a brief history of artillery. I don't think you have to learn to play poker. Though. Well, I think you do need to learn how to play chess. Yeah. And I think poker. you do know how to le learn how to play poker. Yeah, I agree. Hunting. How to stick. How to tan a hide. Um, how to skin a rabbit and how to cook a rabbit, how to grow sunflowers, um, understanding grammar, uh, common trees. I mean, it is a wonderful, wonderful book, just an heirloom book. It's, it's beautifully, I mean, we really, it's got, a, it's got the marbling in the beginning and the illustrations here, not basic knot tying. 
um, how to make a battery out of coins, how to build a tree house, uh, archery, how to shoot, how to make a bow and arrow. Dinosaurs. Uh, it's, yeah. Julius Caesar, great men of history, great, great generals. Um, great book, The Dangerous Book for Boys. I think there is a dangerous book for girls as well. I haven't seen it, so I don't know about that one, but I know this one is, is good. So uh, let me know what you think of this list of 10 in the comments, and if you have a better idea of how we could demonstrate these and, and to share these, um, let me know, because uh, it's, it's in the making right now. So in your comments, uh, as I say, are the rudder for the channel. They, they dictate the direction for the channel, right? Oh, and thumbs up. And thumbs up, all right. We'll see you guys in the next video. There are a lot of young Wrangler Star fans out there that don't often get recognition. We really enjoy all of the pictures that your parents send of you uh, enjoying the videos, and this is for you. I've got four videos that are Jack related, and the top left is Jack uh, cutting some kindling and delivering it to our neighbor. And that's one of my favorite videos. Um, well, they're all, these are all my favorites. Uh, top right is building Jack's first leather belt. And this one here, if, if I were going to choose the four, I think you should probably click on that one. Uh, bottom left is Jack learning to drive. Learning to drive uh, is an important skill for kids. And my grandfather, great-grandfather, uh, drove a Model T to the first grade. So you're not too young to start practicing. And the bottom right is uh, building Jack's first swing. Uh, that we put on a big maple tree and swinging is just as fun as it was when I was a kid enjoy it and then I we should, we should do it more often so uh, that's it and we will uh, oh click the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and we will see you guys on the next one mm -hmm.